Laney Howard coming to the plate from Salina, Kansas. First pitch in there for a strike. Second pitch also in there for a strike. 0-2 count. Foul ball. And strike three. That's a Red Ravens strikeout. Addison Easter coming to the plate from Linden, Kansas. First pitch inside for a ball. It's a very windy day out here in beautiful Coffeyville, Kansas. Second pitch low as well for a ball. 2-0 count right now. Three zero count for the Panthers. And Easter walks. Now up for the Panthers, Braxton Stainbrook from uh, La Signe, Kansas. First pitch low for ball one. That one was roped down left side and foul. Next pitch perfectly right down the pipe for strike. Right back to the pitcher, and the Lady Ravens get out of the inning. 0-0. Lady Ravens come into the bat when we return.
and Isom gets hit. Now batting the second baseman, number nine, Jaden Roberts from Preston, Oklahoma. First pitch outside for ball. That next pitch goes low for a strike. Logan Cates on the mound today for the Lady Panthers, sophomore out of Bartlesville, Oklahoma. And that one's popped up out of play. Roberts ready with the one, two. That one's low, two and two count. Pitch outside, ball three, full count. Runner on first already for the Ravens early. Foul ball. It's a very, very windy day here in Coffeyville. Robert strikes out. Isom able to slide back into first. One out. Now batting for the Ravens, the right fielder, number 15, Alyssa Santana from Arlington, Texas, out of Martin High School. First pitch a little outside for ball one. The ball gets away from the catcher and Isom advances to second on a wild pitch. Two-0 -oh count for Santana. Foul ball. The 2-1. Lady Ravens looking to strike early with a runner at second with one out. Next pitch hit up the gut, and that looks like it's going to score Isom. Santana on her way to second, and she is safe. Lady Ravens take flight, leading 1-0. Now batting for the Ravens, number 13, Skylar Hopper out of Parsons, Kansas, Erie High School. The first pitch outside for ball one. Two 
2-0 count early for Hopper. Isom standing. Actually, Isom just scored. Santana on second. Hopper fouls that one off. 2-1. Last pitch just a little outside, and it's a 3-1 count for Hopper. Full count here. And... Hopper strikes out. Two outs for the Ravens. Now batting for the Ravens, number 18, Aaliyah Thompson from Olathe, Kansas. Olathe East High School. First pitch, she takes a cut and strike. Strike as well. 0-2 count for Thompson. And Thompson hits one up first, and it's going to score Santana. Ravens lead 2-0. Aaliyah Thompson with the single. Now batting for the Ravens, the first baseman, number 23, Allie Schubert, out of Mount Vernon, Missouri. Thompson, still second base. Calls a ball on that last pitch. 1 1 is the count. Right down the middle for a strike. It was check swing, and strike three is called by the umpire. Lady Ravens strike first, taking two. It's Lady, uh, Lady Red Ravens two, Neosho Panthers zero. First pitch outside for number 16, Caitlin Myers from Emporia, Kansas.
right down Broadway. Just one and one count. That one just a little low, two one count. is roped to right field. And Myers with the double. Now batting for the Panthers, number 13, Ansley Morris from Grove, Oklahoma. Swings at that one, and strike one. Ravens did damage early, going up 2-0. Panthers trying to look to do the same. Another beautiful pitch, and... Meyer stills third. Oh, oh, foul tip, my bad. Pitch and it's a foul ball. O2 count right now. Bree Harkins leading the battle for the Ravens. And that one's hit right past the shortstop. And just like that. Ravens two, Panthers one. Now batting for the Neo Show Panthers, number three, Emma West from Claremore, Oklahoma. She scores to bunt and she bunts it and she's thrown out at first, but moves over the runner to second base. One out. Now up to bat, number zero, Carson McHugh from Goddard, Kansas. That one outside nearly hits her. 1-0 count. And right to Jaden Roberts. She's looking to turn two. And barely, barely just was not enough. So close to having a double play by Roberts. But the Panthers get back. Two outs. Now up number four, Jessica Petrick from Fontana, Kansas. And that one's outside for ball one. Lady Ravens looking to escape out of this inning and come up to bat. And that one is called a strike. 1-1. One, one. And that one's foul. One, two, pitch coming up. Ball. Oh, right back to Harkins. Harkins going to throw to first, and she is out. The Panthers strike one, but the Lady Ravens still lead 2-1. Headed to the bottom of the second here in Coffeville.
Number 99, Justina Ray up to bat for the Ravens out of Holton, Kansas. Justina takes the first pitch, strike. Next pitch, strike as well. 0-2 count for Justina Ray. And strike three. Kate's bringing some gas when she throws the ball. Very accurate with her pitches as well. Now batting number 16, Jamie Johns from Elgin, Oklahoma. Jamie Johns hits one right to the third baseman, and they're right there. Two outs. Now batting the pitcher number 42, Bree Harkins for the Ravens out of Kingston, Oklahoma. First pitch, strike. Cates leads the count 2-0 right now. The 0-2 for Harkins coming up. Cates ready to deal. And that one's hit right back to Cates. Cates throws it to first, and we are headed to the third inning. The score, Neosho Panthers 1, Red Ravens 2, here in Coffin. Number 14, Brinley Brancroft from Chanute, Kansas, starting it back off for the Lady Panthers. Harkins getting ready to pitch. Stur oh, he called it a ball. Looked like a very good pitch. Next pitch outside, 2-0 for Bancroft. Next pitch, Brancroft swings, 1-2, or er, sorry, 2-1. Pitch. Oh, and it's roped into the outfield. And Brancroft reaches on a single. And now up to bat for the Lady Panthers, number eight, Laney Howard. Umpires call time. And points it. Oh, nope. Still on time. Harkin steps back to the mound. 
Here comes the pitch. A little high, ball one. Bancroft stands at first. No outs. Next pitch is going to be a foul ball. 1-1 one, one count. Little low, 2 1. Next pitch, ooh, little low as well. The throw down to second, and Bancroft takes second on the stolen base. 3 1 count. Side for ball four. Panthers, two runners on, zero outs. Number 25, Addison Easter coming up for the Neosho Panthers of Linden, Kansas. And uh, looks like the Lady Ravens are wanting to call time here. Coaches visit. First pitch low, they're gonna throw down to third, and she's safe. So the Panthers now have runners at third and second. One-o -oh count. Looks like the Panthers are gonna score to bunt here. Brings her barrel back and she fouls it off. Squares to bunt again. Brings the barrel back and outside for 2-1 now, the count. Squares to bunt for the third time. Brings the barrel back and swings. 2-2 two, two, count. No outs for the Ravens. Comes the pitch. And a little outside for the umpire. 3 2, full count. The pitch from Harkins is, oh, it's. And the Panthers hit it to left field, and that's going to score two. Panthers now lead. 3-2. Now batting number 17, Braxton Stainbrook. Addie Easter with that uh, single, which scored two for the Panthers. That one's a little outside for ball one. Ravens looking to get an out here.
Harkins with the pitch. Oh, and it's fouled. 1-1 one, one count. Little high, 2 1. Harkins with the pitch, and little low, 3 1. I've got to say, the ball looks like it's floating with this win. The pitch, and it is popped out of play. Full count. The ball was heading out of the field, and the wind pushed it back in. That's how fast the wind is blowing today here in Coffeyville. The pitch, and foul tip. Stainbrook battling here, 3-2 count, full. Here comes the pitch, and it, it is hit to, oh, just missed it. Just missed it. They're Senator to second, and the Lady Panthers have runners at third and second. Now batting number 16, Caitlin Myers. Lady Ravens still looking to get an out here. Myers takes one right down. Four, strike one. Harkins gets one outside. 0-2 oh, count. And the ball is hit right to Roberts. Roberts going to throw to first, gets her, but the Lady Panthers score another run. It's now 4-2 Panthers. Also advance the runner to third for the Panthers. Harkins comes back with a pitch, and it's going to be a ball. Batting for the Panthers is Ansley Morris. Oh, almost hits Morris. Morris gets out of the way, and the Panthers score another run on a wild pitch. Lady Ravens having a mound visit right now. Harkin steps back to the circle, and here comes the pitch. And it's going to be a little high. Three zero is the count. And the next pitch is foul.
Harkins with the pitch, and it's going to be fouled. 3-2, full count. Harkins gets back to a full count. Let's see if the Ravens can win this battle here. Harkins with the pitch, and it's going to be roped foul again. Just barely missing the fair line. Full count once again. Harkins loads. Here's the pitch. And fouled off once again by Morris. Harkins with a walk. Here we go. Number three coming to bat for the Panthers. Emma West. Umpire gives the signal for Harkins to get the okay. Harkins with the pitch. Here it is. Out. Oh, he called a strike. Okay, there we go. Harkins with the next pitch, and it's hit right past the shortstop, and the Panthers now have runners at second and first. Coming to bat for the Panthers looks like number zero, Carson McHugh from Goddard, Kansas. McHugh takes the first pitch. Harkins just blew it right by her. McHugh's next pitch. Also caught looking. So, 0-2 count for Harkins. Harkins leads. And Hit right to the shortstop. They're going to look to turn two and only able to turn one. Roberts gets the runner at second, and there is two down for the Lady Ravens. Now batting for the Lady Panthers, number four, Jessica Petrick. She looks like she's going to score a bunch. She pulls it back and strike one. Runners at third and first for the Lady Panthers. Looks to square to bun again. Pulls back. And, oh, she went to square bun again and just missed it. So there's no two counts. Harkins looking to finish the job here. 0-2. Oh, Harkins sets, deals. And that one's hit right to the center fielder. And it is caught. So, Lady Ravens, get out of the inning. Neosho leads 5-2. Heading to the bottom of the third. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Coffeyville, Kansas, here, home of Red Ravens softball on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Leading off for the Red Ravens, the shortstop, number 14, Haley Isom. Isom out of Lawton, Oklahoma. First pitch to Isom, and it is called a strike. 
0-1. Next pitch to Isom is swung at. 0-2 to Isom. Here comes Cates' pitch. She winds, she deals, and Isom hits it right to the center fielder. But the center fielder had to run over a little ways to left field to get that one. Now batting for the Lady Red Ravens, number nine, Jaden Roberts from Preston, Oklahoma. Roberts, and she fouls that one off. Right over in the parking lot. I hope my car's okay. Next pitch to Roberts, she swings at that one. 0-2. Oh Roberts back to the batter's box. Cates deals. She throws it and foul tip by Roberts. Roberts back to the ba uh, box and uh, and that one's outside. So, 1-2 to Roberts. Roberts waits. She hits it. And the shortstop catches it. Two outs for the Lady Red Ravens. Coming to bat is going to be Alyssa Santana, number 15, from Martin High School in Arlington, Texas. Two down for the Lady, uh, Lady Red Ravens. First pitch low. 1-0, Santana leads. Santana returns to the batter's box, and here we go. Cates looks, deals, and next pitch outside. Santana leads 2-0. Next pitch by Cates is right down the middle for strike one. Santana. Next pitch, and she swings it, and it's caught by the left fielder. Headed to the fourth inning in Coffeeville, Panthers lead 5-2.
Leading off for Neosha, number 14, Brindley Bancroft. Bancroft out of Chanute, Kansas, where the Neosho Panthers are actually located. Bancroft takes the first pitch, swings, and strike one. And she squares to bunt, and it's going to be foul. So, 0-2 pitch to Bancroft. Coming up. Harkins returns to the mound. She winds, she deals, the pitch. Hit right back to Harkins. Harkins looks to throw to first, and she's got her. One out. A little Red Ravens baseball update. The Red Ravens in Johnson County are tied 2-2 heading into the bottom of the third inning. And the pitch hits Laney Howard. So the Panthers already got a runner at first. Now hitting for the Lady Panthers, it looks like it's going to be number 25, Addie Easter. So Addie Easter out of Linden, Kansas. Easter squares to bunt. She pulls back. Ball one. Easter squaring to bunt again. And she pulls back once again. And it's hit right to the shortstop. And the shortstop looking to try to throw to first. And she's safe. And they're trying to go to third. And they're also called safe at third. Two runners on for the Panthers with one out for the Ravens. Now batting for the Lady Panthers, number 17, Braxton Stainbrook out of Lasigne, Kansas. Braxton fouls the first pitch off. The, uh, the Lady Red Ravens dugout. <laughs> Braxton takes the next pitch right down the pipe. And the Lady Panthers still second. The pitch, a little low. Harkins' next pitch, a little low, almost hits her. So Braxton up 3-2 in this. Harkins looking to win the battle. Full count. Harkins looks, she deals, she pitches, it's a little low, and Lady Panthers walk. So, bases loaded for the Lady Panthers. Now batting for the Lady Panthers, number 16, Caitlin Myers, out of Emporia, Kansas. And ball. So, 1-0 count to Myers. And the Lady Red Ravens look to have a mountain visit.
the pitch. It is roped right to the right fielder, and she catches it. She's trying to go throw home. It's hit by the first baseman and on the cutoff, and Lady Panthers score again. It's now 6-2, Neosho. Two outs for the Ravens. Beautiful throw from right field to the first base on the cutoff. Ansley Morris with the home run. Three run shot by Ansley Morris, and the Lady Panthers now lead nine to two. And the Red Ravens looking to have a pitching change. Number 99, Justina Ray from Holton, Kansas. Number three, Emma West at the plate for the Lady Panthers out of Claremore, Oklahoma. And Justina fires the first pitch a little high, but ball one. Justina's next pitch is strike. 1-1. One, one. Justina looks, she fires, she throws, a little low, 2-1. West looks, swings, and 2-2 two -two is the count. Justina one pitch away from getting the Lady Red Ravens out of the inning. And West looks to bunt here. But she pulls back and she takes a ball, full count. Justina looks, the pitch, and West ropes it right to the right fielder. And the Lady Red Ravens bring Justina Ray in and she gets him out of the inning. The score, Lady Panthers nine. Lady Red Ravens, too. Head forth here in Coffeyville.
Leading back off for the Red Ravens, number 13, Skylar Hopper out of Erie High School. First pitch, called a ball. Here comes the pitch to Hopper. Hopper takes it low. 2 0. Kate's walking in a circle, and here she comes back to the mound. Kate's looks, fires, deals, and ball three. 3-0 count for the Red Ravens. Three zero count to Hopper. Here we go. And ball four. The Lady Ravens have a runner at first. And now, here comes. Now up for the Ravens, number 18, Aaliyah Thompson out of Olathe East High School in Olathe, Kansas. A little bit of confusion here between the umpires, but uh, here we go now. And strike one. And Thompson fouls that one off. So, Thompson down, 0-2 in the count. Here's the pitch, and Thompson ropes it right past the shortstop. And she's going to get a single out of that. So, Lady Ravens doing damage early. Two runners on. No outs. And here comes... And here comes the first baseman, number 23, Allie Schubert, out of Mont Vernon High School in Mount Vernon, Missouri. And looks like there is a mound visit from the Neosho Panthers. Schubert looking to bunt. She bunts it, and the Panthers throw to first. So one out. Oh. Okay. So runners at third and second for the Lady Red, uh, Lady Red Ravens. One out. Now batting for the Lady Red Ravens, number 99, Justina Ray from Holton, Kansas, who is also now the pitcher. So, Justina, first pitch, a little low, ball one. Here comes the pitch, a little low again. So, Justina leads the count, 2-0. Justina, ready to hit, and she fouls down off. Go. 
Here you go. Oh, strike two. So, 2-2 two, two count to Justina. Justina looking to battle here. Here goes Justina, and she swings that one and fouls it right out of the, yep, right out of the stadium. Two two. Here's the pitch. Justina. And she ropes that one right to the right fielder. And so the Lady Panthers turn two there. And it is now. Neo Show 9, Coffeeville 2. Heading to the fifth inning here at Red Ravens Softball Field. Now batting for the Neosho Panthers, number zero, Carson McHugh out of Goddard, Kansas. Justina turns back to the mound for the Ravens. Justina loads, she pitches, and it's roped right over the second baseman's head to the wall, and... The Panthers are going to try to go two, and she gets to second. McHugh with the double. Now up for the Panthers, number four, Jessica Petrick out of Fontana, Kansas. Patrick looked to bunt, but she pulled back in time, so one ball. Patrick squares the bunt, and she this time she bunts it. And she's going to be – oh, the ball's overthrown to the first baseman, and Patrick gets to second. So it's now 10-2, to two. Panthers. Patrick at second. Now batting, 14, now batting number 14, Brinley Bancroft from, once again, Chinook, Kansas. And the Lady Panthers still third. So, two balls, no strikes. Hey, 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 
the pitch. Roped foul by Bancroft. The pitch by Ray. Here we go. And called a ball. A little high. That one's roped. And that one's gone. On to the highway. It's in, yeah out there in the road. Wow. That was an absolute shot by uh, Bancroft. Lady Ravens haven't a mound visit. Now batting for the Hillshire, Amy Howard. Justina, back to work. She throws it, and foul ball. Next pitch, a little low, almost hits her. 1-1. One, one. Ball. 2-1, the count. It's now... Panthers 12, Ravens 2, top of the fifth. And that one's hit right past the pitcher, right past second baseman, right to Thompson, and Lady Panthers get a single. So, now coming to bat, number 25, Addie Easter. From Linden, Kansas. Justina pitches, and that one's a strike. No outs for the Ravens. Justina with the pitch, and foul ball. So, Justina Ray up early in the count. Having two strikes. Ravens looking to get their first out of the inning. Here we go. And it looks like number 25, Easter, is going to bunt. She squares to bunt. The pitch pulls back, and she hits it. And it's going to be caught. One out. Nice play out there by Santana. Now batting for Neosha, number 17, Braxton Stainbrook from Lasigne, Kansas. And that one goes right off Hopper, and Panthers might look to go three here. Nope. So, the Neosho Panthers still second off a wild pitch. So, Ray back to work. Justina looks. Here comes pitch. She deals and almost hits her. And that one's hit. The first baseman, Har Harkins, is trying to get to it. Nope. And Panthers were in their way. So. Close to going in Yosha's dugout. She almost made the play. 
One, two. Count here. And here comes the pitch by Justina, and that one's going to be fouled. Justina leading the way in this one. One ball, two strikes. Let's see if Justina can get an out here. Justina looks. Comes the pitch. Justina, and she gets her to swing and sends her packing. There it is. That's a Red Raven strikeout. Here comes Caitlin Myers from Emporia, Kansas, number 16. Caitlin Myers takes the first pitch ball. Myers back to the batter's box. She gets back in the batter's box, swings, cuts, and there's strike one. So, 1-1 one, one pitch. Comes Myers. Myers looking, and she takes that one. 2 1. Myers takes that one as well. So 3 1 to Myers. Lady Panthers, runner at second. 3 1. Here comes the pitch. Justina looks, loads, deals. A little outside, ball four. Thirteen. Now, now up is Ansley Morris, number thirteen from Grove, Oklahoma. Ansley ropes that one right past the third baseman, and that looks like it is going to score one for the Panthers. So, Ansley Morris, single, and Neosha now leads 13-2. Emma West up now, number three, out of Claremore, Oklahoma. And umpire calls that one a strike. Was able to keep it a little outside, but got the call. Justina Ray, the pitch, and oh, Roberts tries to dive, can't get it. And Lady Panthers score another. And Morse. And West with the single. Now batting Carson McHugh out of Goddard, Kansas, number zero. Sophomore. And Carson takes a ball. Oh. Folks, I'm not really sure what the call was. The uh, umpire was... Uh, Justina brought it. Oh, he called it a strike there. Okay. Justina bringing it the heat again. And it's... And... McHugh with a three-run shot. Mound visit by the Lady Ravens. Next up for Neosho, number four, Jessica Petrick. Now batting for Neosho, number four, Jessica Petrick from 
Fontana, Kansas, also a sophomore. Jessica Pantrick uh, squares to bunt, and it's going to be called. It's going to be called foul here. Rolled a little bit past the foul line. So, Neosho leads 17 to two. Top of the fifth. And Jessica Petrick, and they call that one a strike. A little outside, called strike. So, Patrick down, 0-2. Justina Ray looking to get the Lady Red Ravens out of the inning. Justina Ray looks, pitches, a little outside, ball. Ray's pitch, it's hit, right to Jaden Roberts. Jaden Roberts trying to throw to first, she gets her. The Lady Red Ravens get out of the inning. And the score is the Osha Panthers 17, Lady Red Ravens 2. Headed to the bottom of the fifth inning. Now pitching for the Neosho Panthers, number 51, Paige Hustle. At the plate, number 16, Jamie Johns from Elgin, Oklahoma. Johns just took the first strike, swinging. Here we go. The pitch swung on again, 0-2. John's ready, comes the pitch. John's ropes it, foul. So, 0-2 to John's. Johns hits it right to the first baseman, and she's trying to beat her out, and nope. So, one down for the Ravens. Now batting for the Lady Red Ravens, the first baseman, number 42, Bree Harkins from Kingston, Oklahoma. Harkins looks, oh, swings at the first one, good cut. One strike. Hutzel came in to pitch for the Panthers this inning. Already one out. Hutzel, the pitch, almost hits Harkins. One, one. Harkins, ready to go. Here goes Harkins. Harkins, a little low. 2 1. Harkins hits that one foul right out of the stadium. Thank you. 
The pitch, low, right past the umpire. Scared the umpire a little bit. Three, two, full count. The pitch, swung on, strike three. Two outs for the Ravens. Leading back off for the Red Ravens, number 14, Haley Isom out of Eisenhower High School in Lawton, Oklahoma. Isom was wanting to swing, but takes it, almost hits her. Isom calls time. She's ready. Isom ropes it. Right to the right fielder. Final score of game number one today, Neosho Panthers 17, Coffeyville Red Ravens 2. We will be back for game number two in 30 minutes. But before we go to break, I've got our Red Ravens score update. The Red Ravens trail number seven, Johnson County 6-2 going into the top of the fifth inning in Johnson County. 